That good, good, man. You can't beat fresh coffee beans to start a new week. This is the coffee that I have, for those of you that have asked before. If you like a creamy coffee that's not too intense, this is the one, Lavazza Crema Aroma, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's banging, can't go wrong. Lavazza, if you wanna sponsor me, hook it up. So yes, I'm using a magic bullet, and what? When you have just one coffee a day, I feel like you just appreciate it so much more. I also on the weekend decided to book myself in for an MRI scan on my knee, purely because I was walking on the weekend and it really, really started hurting. And it's stopping me from running, it's stopping me from squatting and stuff at the gym, training legs properly. Even though I've been pushing through, I sort of, one of them people that I feel like I'll just push through because it's my routine. So I'm going this evening, get it done, I'll have my results in a couple of days and I can find out if there's anything actually wrong with the knee. Main reason is I don't want to cause long-term damage, keep pushing through and be like, oh, I'm a big man, it's all good, and then really hurt it, not be able to run, not be able to walk, not be able to exercise because they're some of the key components that help me sort of mentally, they help me feel the way I feel, you know, all that sort of stuff. You can't put a price on your health no matter what and you'll spend money on stupid shit, but you know, when it comes to your health, you always skimp and scrape. Yeah, I'm just watching the charts, seeing what London's setting up, if anything at all. Not looking like much happening as of yet. And uh, yeah, just getting ready for a new month. As I say this right now, you've got 126 days left of this year. Really, really important if you haven't already, go and revisit the goals you wrote down in December, January, you know, start of this year. Have you achieved them? If not, why not? What have you been doing? And you just sort of coasting through life on the hope that, you know, you're gonna figure it out and life's just gonna work for you. You know, sometimes you do have to look and analyze where you're headed, are you headed on the right path? Often, like, you can be on a path and you sort of take a detour, you go on a side quest. I've done this a few times. It's very important to get back on the path. In these 126 days, you can still completely transform your year, provided you are aware of it, you identify it, and then you action it. So don't sleep on the, the next sort of couple of months. They're the big, big part of the year, big end of the year, the business part of the year. Make sure you're getting shit done. Speaking of new months, Obviously loads of you always reaching out to me at the minute about prop firms, which one should I use, which one's safe, have you got any ideas, have you got any recommendations? And listen, none of them are safe, nothing's safe in this game, nothing we really do is fully safe, right? However, you can do your due diligence, you can look at the firms that are, have been around the longest, you know, like I always say, FTMO, you can't go wrong with them, yes they're more expensive, yes they have 10% to pass phase one, however, there's a reason they are still number one in the game. Obviously you've got Fivers. I haven't personally tried them, I am gonna check them out because I've heard some good things. Get yourselves on Darwin X. Now you might say, oh no, because I can't make much money on that, but again, think of it long term. All you've got to do is stick it on a trade copier and let it do its thing. All you're gonna do, right, is in a year from now or two years from now, God forbid anything happens to prop or anything like that, and you're in a position where you're like, oh, I wish I had something else. You're gonna look at Darwin X then and go, oh, I'll start now, but why don't you just start right now, not two years later, and in two years, who knows where your record could be, who knows where you could be, They've also got metrics, like I've said before, that help you improve your trading. If you use the link in the description, you're gonna get 20% off for the first month. So you can literally try it out, check it out. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Let me know any reasons why you don't like it and I'll tell them what's up. But ultimately, I think it's sick. I think all traders should be using it. Let me know how you get on. It's literally gonna cost you like a Nando's, especially with a discount. One month, try it. You don't like it, cancel. Let me know why. I'll tell them what's up. Maybe they can improve some stuff. Put yourself in a bit. And we're done. I didn't get a chance to film any footage in there because you're not gonna set your phone in. Okay, so it appears what I just said didn't work. However, when I was in there, I had a great business idea. I should buy a couple of MRI machines and start doing discounted MRIs. Sick idea. However, they're 500 grand each machine. So maybe not. Yeah, it's all good. Like I say, never neglect your health people. I'm a massive advocate of that. And I refuse to admit that there's just something wrong on my knee and it can't be fixed and that's that. I'd rather get to the bottom of it, find out what I can do about it and then work on fixing it. So yeah, uh, other than that, I've messaged Steph. I said, can't be able to cook tonight. We've got no food. Very rare we do this, but we've got no food in the house. Shopping comes tomorrow. So I was like, let's just smash a Nando's. So by the time I'm home, I'm currently racing my Nando's. I should be munching up. Let's go! It smells bang. Well, I've kept it super healthy. Steph's fairly healthy to be fair, and then she's got this funky gravy. I don't know what that, what is it? It's no, it's a Peronais gravy. Oh, I'll have a little bit if you've got some going. Kept it healthy because I've been, I ate a lot of munch last week. I felt very heavy, so. We gotta balance it out sometimes. Looking like today might be the day we finally hit 30K. 
been three years of making videos, making content every week. I've never missed an upload. Some weeks I've uploaded more than one video. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Like anyone that wants to start a YouTube, I would literally just say, just get started. I literally put the camera down and it turned over. I care if it goes under now, we hit 30K. I've seen it, you've all seen it. Let's go, here's to 40K. Someone's on a joke thing because it's now gone back to 29,999. <laughs> oh no, it's back to 30K. Yo, whoever this is going back and forwards, yeah, I'm gonna find you, innit? Uh, shout out to all of you, I appreciate you. It's a... Uh, it's being a big milestone. To some people, it might not be a lot. I know everyone's done about like hundreds of thousands and millions and whatnot. But I literally started this not knowing what to expect. Learned everything myself. I do everything myself. I edit, I create. Everything is me. I've learned a lot of skills. I've paid a lot of money to learn them. But um, I'm enjoying it. It's probably the most enjoyable thing that I do. Like in terms of work stuff, right? But you know, even the kids love it. Walking downstairs sometimes and catching me and watching one of the vlogs and laughing. She comes up to me with different ideas. Bless her. She's like, "We need to play hide and seek and all that." I'm like, "Maybe not on this channel, but it's just sick to see." I tell you what, I had to fight myself this morning to wake up. Every single part of my body was like, "Stay in bed. It's warm here. It's cozy. It's half past five. We haven't got to get up." And it took me a couple of minutes. Don't get me wrong. Back on myself. My head was like, "Just use your knee as an excuse," or. You know, don't worry today, you've been doing well, just take the day off. But fuck that, that's not who I am. I know I talk about this a lot, but your identity is everything. And if you keep lying to yourself or you keep letting yourself down, it's going to bleed into other areas of life, whether it's relationships, trading, business, wherever it might be. So, you know, you have the ability to shape and mould your day and how you do things. And ultimately as well, right, I get to get up at this time and go to the gym. So, yeah, let's have a banging session. I don't know what Steph's up to, but she's gone out. She told me I can't go with her. And she just got back and she shut the door downstairs. Yeah? Hmm. It's proper cute. Respect. Is it a coffee cake? Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Got to celebrate all the wins, guys and girls. Small wins, big wins, whatever it is. Well, that, yeah. That's annoyed me, that YouTube sign. It's not how I left it, was it? <laughs> no. I've done it all myself. Yeah, I tested them. It's fine. It's not worrying. Thanks lots. Such a long time, guys. Come on. Hey, ah. Bosh. I might make a tea. I don't have tea, but I might make a tea and have some coffee cake. Living my best life. What? Do we have tea bags? Yeah. Oh. Trying to tell me I don't have tea bags, bro. You're not having any. You don't like coffee cake. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Just you don't like it, bro. Like What's that? Is that Pear for me cakes. as well? No, that's for no, me. That's for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mia's gone back to school. Kira's got another day off, so Kira goes back tomorrow. There's my knee, man. Got my results back. I don't know what I'm looking at because man's not a doctor, innit? It says my ACL is inflamed where it attaches to the bone, the enthesitis, something like that, medical terms, and I have a ganglion cyst, which is 1.6 centimeters near my ACL. This may explain the pain you're feeling. No ev evidence of significant injury or internal derangement. Despite the cyst and minor inflammation, there's no severe damage to the knee structure ligaments or meniscus which is good i guess options with the cyst i can either get it removed don't really fancy surgery on my knee or i can have an injection have it drained and have steroids put in Does that mean i'm gonna get wham <laughs> i'm messing um hmm interesting i'm gonna go and enjoy my cake have a tea and probably sign off for the day now because uh i need to do some research on this but yeah just another example guys and girls of why you should always check these things out if you don't feel right go and get these things done. At the end of the day, you do have one body. Obviously you can fix things, of course, but if you delay things, it can get worse and worse. Yes, yes, people, it's happening. It is a very doom and gloom morning today. It's raining. It's been a very quiet week for me in terms of trading. And look, you know, this is how it goes, like coming off the back of a decent month, I don't expect to just start September and be like, boom, trades flying out my ass. Obviously it'd be nice, but it's not the correct expectation. And what I would ask is, anybody that's struggling to deal with those quiet weeks, those quiet periods, you know, I was having a good chat with the people in the Discord uh, yesterday about this, actually. It's like, naturally, you might feel guilty, right? Because you haven't done the thing and you think, oh, I need to trade every day. But that always comes back to, what do you believe trading is? If you think a trader's got to trade every day, then naturally, you will feel that guilt. You will feel that sort of emotion. But don't forget, right? You trade to have freedom, to create new streams of income to be able to, you know, perhaps open new businesses or embark on new ventures or 
go away on holiday or enjoy your life. So you have to find the balance of doing that as well. And I know it's a really tough topic, especially with all the different things that go on. I think a lot of people lose sight of the freedom they wanted to be able to go and enjoy their life. But what I would ask you now is, is there a belief you've got about trading that's actually holding you back? Because I had it. I thought that trading was like, trade every day and if I'm not trading, I need to go and learn more, I need to improve, I need to get better, I need to find a new system. Then you go on social media and you see a load of fuckheads sharing all these new things. And again, it's a highlight reel. They control the narrative of what they wanna share. It's why, again, I wanted to be online and show the failure, show the losing account, show the fucking up of businesses because I believe that's part and parcel of me documenting my journey to the next steps and the next level and I can look back on it myself. I don't wanna give this incorrect impression or ideology of what this is, it's tough, right? Markets are quiet, there's no setups. The best thing you can do is do nothing at all. So how about you just did nothing at all in terms of trading, you keep your processes, you keep your disciplines, you do your non-negotiables, but you can go and do that other thing you wanna do or other hobbies or start other businesses or do whatever it is. Not to distract yourself, not to do something stupid and become silly busy, but it's okay to sit down, play a game for a bit. Winter's coming, new Call of Duty's coming out. You best believe I'll turn it on in the afternoon sometimes and I'll have a couple of hours gaming. The whole house likes gaming, so it's something we like doing. I've done since I was really, really young. It's a bit nostalgic at the same time for me, but I enjoy it. There's so many different things I do, but what I would leave you with is if money wasn't an option, you didn't need money, what would you do for fun? Because maybe you can incorporate that. Because sometimes having that fun-like plain childlike mind anyone with kids you'll see how the child sort of grows and develops and you'll see how the stages of their mind change having that childlike mind sometimes as an adult is really important because it allows you to sort of switch off have fun enjoy life i feel like sometimes people take it too serious you only get one shot on this planet you should smile more you should be freaking living it to the max and if that means when markets are quiet you leaving your desk and doing something else then just do it like you don't have to put yourself through this grueling, sit there, stare at the charts every day, every minute, can't miss one candle. I've got a back test till my eyes bleed because it doesn't serve you. It, long term, it won't serve you. And I've learned that the hard way. Trust me. I've got to get a call. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just watching the charts. Gold is just stuck in this range near the all-time high. Potentially NFP tomorrow going to sort it out. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm just going to eat cake. <laughs> I don't normally eat it this much, but I very rarely have coffee cake. It's literally my favorite cake. And I'm celebrating hitting 30k of three years of work, making videos, and it's nearly all gone. Mom. It's wet and windy, but we're getting our steps in. A little bit slower than usual, but it's all good in the hood. Just had a call as well to tell me that if I want surgery, it's four bags, brother. But I'm booked in with a surgeon just to have a chat. That was 250, yeah? Bro, I need to be a doctor or something. Private one. Uh, yeah, so that's booked in like for two weeks time or something. So I'm gonna have a chat with them uh, and just discuss drainage. Uh, I think that's the route I'll go. Get it drained first. Potentially lay off running for a little bit and just see if it improves. So we'll keep you all updated, but I'm gonna keep chatting about it because it gets boring, innit? It's all like me, me, me. But yeah, if you're not been getting out for your walks, regardless of the weather and that, I don't want to hear it. Weather's changing. Going into autumn, feels a bit like winter. Make the most of it. It's a great time of year, a lot of excitement, a lot of good things happen. Don't get lazy and complacent now. You've done so well all year. I know you have, I'm looking at you, yeah. Looking at you, big man. Get shit done. First trade of September is live and it is a banger. Whatever happens, happens. I've been in it since about eight o'clock. We have crazy weather here today. Like my garden's literally got a swimming pool in it. So I might buy some kayaks and that and just have it large. See what happens with this. It's obviously NFP day. So I'll be out of it before NFP anyway. On NFP days, I usually go and get some lunch with Steph. So uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go out, get some food, have some coffee, just chill out. Uh, girls back to school now, so the routine's back to normal. I wanna get some of my steps in. Obviously, I'm not doing as many as I would, uh, but I will get some in and then go out for some lunch. Yeah, I got railed like a hooker in dams. Real life, I don't know, it's weird. Here's Steph off to get lunch from one of our favorite spots in Rygate called The Rose Room. If you've never been, you should come check it out. It's decent, little family run business. Steph's gone for a caramel matcha latte. I don't know what it tastes like. We shall see. Yeah, we do. Matches are right. <laughs> decided this tastes like eating blended wood, so I thought I'd drink it, apparently. Well, that was decent, to be fair. They have changed their menu slightly, which was rather annoying because we know what we want when we go there, and there's quite a lot of protein options normally. However, 
We went for panini, cheese, cured ham, red onion, chili jam. It was decent to be fair. Uh, and then some like hash brown sweet chili things. That yeah, was all right. So they changed their menu only because they've removed location. Yeah, they moved location they've and they've got a smaller kitchen. So they've changed, um, they've got more cloth. seating. Well, they've got a smaller kitchen, so they've changed the menu. But if you're ever in Rygate, Rose Room, it's decent, nice vibes, friendly people, Quite good coffee, hard very hard to get a space. So when we walked out, I went to M&S and I bought chicken because I'm just going to bear back chicken so I get my protein in because otherwise I feel like I've had a meal without protein and then, although I've already had some, it's very hard to calculate. So I bought three packs of chicken, I can munch these, get my protein in. Now I'm going to go home, it's NFP in a half an hour. Likely not going to do anything else on the charts, just going to go home and chill out. I've actually downloaded the Call of Duty beta, should be done when I'm back. So I'm probably just going to light that up for a little bit before we get the kids from school. I didn't download it. Huh? I'm joking. Dude, I'm going to smoke you up, man. He lost. You're just a <laughs> cheater, bro. No, I just play fair and square. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I am waiting till 6pm, so the Call of Duty beta comes back and I can play it all night. <laughs> Obviously man came top, first game. Well, Bruno's got a runny bum because as you can see from this Astro, he has absolutely clarted it. Have you got a runny bum? Mashing up the Astro. Yeah. I realised last night I forgot to outro the vlog. I got obsessed with playing COD and uh, lost track of time. It's decent. Gameplay's a little bit meh. It's obviously a beta, but I'm looking forward to it. COD sessions in the winter, you can't beat them. If you haven't subscribed, now's the time to subscribe. Like the video. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll catch you all in next week's video. Peace and love, gang.